I use the same makeup products here, but I got different results based on the wrong and the right techniques. I'll be showing you guys how to avoid these makeup mistakes. So when it comes to getting your makeup to last on your skin, the most important thing to pay attention to is the base of your makeup. Common mistakes we tend to make is not using a moisturizer that is the right moisturizer for your skin type and just not letting the moisturizer be absorbed by your skin. So on this half of my face, I'm not gonna apply a moisturizer. And on this side of my face, I'm gonna be using the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. So you always want to let the moisturizer sit on your skin for at least five minutes before applying your makeup so your skin can absorb the nutrients. So if you just jump right into foundation, you'll be mixing the moisturizer with the foundation, making the moisturizer counterproductive. So you always wanna use a moisturizer that caters to your skin type. So if you have oily or combination skin, you wanna use an oil-free moisturizer. And a good moisturizer for oily skin is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Moisturizer so this one's an oil free and it's water based so it's really going to help hydrate your skin and then for combination skin I really love this Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base it helps to really moisturize your skin locking in that moisture throughout the day and really giving your skin a good base now if you have dry skin you definitely want to opt for a moisturizer that locks in moisture into your skin so moisturizers with oils are fine just use oils that don't clog your pores so I really like this first aid beauty ultra repair firming collagen creams and this one is really good if you have dry and sensitive skin so when it comes to applying foundation if you don't have a foundation shade that perfectly matches your skin then your whole makeup look is going to be discolored a common mistake we tend to make is matching the foundation on your neck but sometimes our neck can be darker some people's necks are usually red compared to their skin and because foundation is the base of your makeup you want to always make sure that it matches your skin tone on your face and and your skin type so you always want to swatch out your foundation on your face or your chest area now we all hate concealer creasing under the eyes so when I apply foundation I completely avoid applying the foundation right under my eyes because applying too much product under the eyes can cause it to crease and not applying foundation there can prevent you from adding that unnecessary layer of makeup under your eyes because we're gonna apply concealer there so here we have two foundations one that's beginning to separate and one that's not typically foundations have a 12 month shelf life Life. So if your foundation looks like this, then that means it's expired, causing the separation within the bottle. And using expired foundations can cause your makeup to start separating and it's going to look unnatural. So you always want to make sure that your foundation is not expired and it's not separating within the bottle because that could affect your overall makeup look. An overlook mistake we tend to make is using brushes or sponges that have previous makeup on them and that are dirty. You might think it's not a big deal, but using dirty sponges or brushes can cause uneven blending of your makeup so if you're using fresh makeup on your skin you want to use fresh and clean applicators as well also dirty sponges tend to harbor bacteria so you applying it on your skin can cause your skin to break out so when it comes to applying concealer we usually place it under our eyes to brighten it up but a mistake we tend to make is using the wrong formulation of the concealer so there are usually two types of formulas when it comes to concealer you have a thick creamy formula and then you have a liquid creamy formula so thick concealer Concealers tend to crease more because when they settle in the creases of our skin, they don't move, which makes it really hard to blend it out. However, liquid concealers are a little bit different. So they're more versatile and when they settle under our creases, it's easier to blend it out. So my favorite concealers for under the eyes are the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. And if you're looking for a good drugstore concealer, I really like the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. So this one is very much creamy but it's a liquid concealer so it tends to crease less so after you apply the concealer you just want to let it sit under your eyes for about five minutes before blending it out so if you blend it out immediately the coverage of the concealer is going to be absorbed by the beauty blender causing it to not cover enough under your eyes which will make your under eyes look great which you don't want so when blending it out you want to use the least amount of pressure while blending it out so that you get the coverage of the concealer and the sponge does not absorb everything so what you want to do is just lightly tap on it don't go too aggressive and make sure the sponge is not absorbing everything so as you can see here this concealer has enough coverage it covers my under eyes and it's not beginning to crease compared to this side where you can definitely see that line of creasing under my eyes so as you can see here there's a harsh line between the concealer and the foundation and you want to blend out that harsh line before setting your skin so if you don't blend out this harsh line and you use 
setting powder on top of this you will literally see that line of demarcation which you don't want so you want to blend it out so your skin looks natural and skin like so to blend it out I like to use the applicator that I used for the foundation lightly going over that harsh line you want to get rid of it so that it's a nice transition between the concealer to the foundation so setting powder is used on our skin to set the concealer so it does not move but when you use too much setting powder under your eyes it can cause your under eyes to dry out and it can also cause cakiness under the eyes so to avoid this before applying setting powder you want to go over and blend the concealer under the eyes just in case it started creasing this will prevent you from setting the creases then literally immediately you want to set your skin with the powder if you're using a sponge you want to press the powder at the back of your hand to get rid of the excess powder on the sponge before applying it so contour is usually placed on the areas of our skin that have shadows but if you're using powder contour you want to avoid packing it on your skin because contour is typically more pigmented and packing it will make it hard to blend so instead you want to apply it in circular motion starting from where the bone structure begins to where it ends this will give it more of a natural and realistic look versus a stiff and unblended look so highlighter is applied on your skin to give your skin that glowy and skin like look but when choosing the highlighter you want to avoid choosing highlighters that have more of a powdery look than a glowy look for instance the makeup revolution london strobe highlighter is much more of a powder than it is a highlighter so when i turn face forward you can definitely see that powder just sitting at the highest points of my cheekbones but when you apply highlighter you're not actually supposed to see it you're just supposed to see the glow but the elf baked highlighter doesn't have a powdery look on the skin so when i face forward you don't see any powder on the skin but when I turn that's when you really see the glow so this leaves my skin looking more natural more skin like compared to the side where you can see the powder and it doesn't look as natural so you always want to use setting spray on your skin to really just help melt your makeup so it doesn't look too powdery and it really helps to lock that makeup in place so it doesn't move and it makes your makeup last all day long but you always want to select a setting spray that suits your skin type so if you have a dry skin you want to use a hydrating or a dewy skin mist on your skin to help lock in that moisture and get your makeup to last a long time and if you have oily skin you want to use a setting mist that is also hydrating but you want to stay away from the ones that contain oils because you don't want to add oils into the surface of your skin so the one that I really like is this Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Mist for oily skin because it really helps to lock in your makeup all night a common mistake we make when applying liquid products is using different formulas that don't complement each other this can cause your makeup to separate after applying it and won't last long that's why you really have to watch this video right here because I go into the details on the different formulas that complement each other and which one you should use based on your skin type KLJ, welcome to a channel where it's popping. 